It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a bit of a posh looking beer from Bira Moretti in Italy. It's a bottle of the Grani Antici. It's an 8% ABV. 750 milliliter wine sized bottle of beer. And that's as much as I know about it. I, I don't really kind of search up beers on untapped or rate beer. I kind of just like to go into my beer reviews blind. So I'm going to go into this beer review blind. And I've got a rather nice glass to use for this beer today. And yeah, let's... I always like to try and keep these if I can. Maybe we can, maybe we can. Nah, we're not going to be able to keep that. Never mind. I've always been a bit of a Moretti fan. And some of you, you might have heard my story of being in Italy, drinking a Moretti in the Italian sunshine. If you haven't, I'll tell you again later on. But I picked this beer up in Tesco's. in the UK. Look at that one then. Picked it up in Tesco's, it was five pounds for the bottle. It kind of looks a little bit like their La Rossa. I had their La Rossa recently uh, on the Krups the Subcompact and that was a smashing little beer. That was about 7%, 7.5%. Uh, we got a two finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation. It's a cherry red colored beer. That looks a right beauty. It really does. It's the difference, I think. It's the reason why I've liked Moretti for as long as I have, because they do different variety. They do different styles of their, of their beer, reds and Whatever this is, Granny Antici. It, I don't know, it might be, might be a, a darker lager. It might be a barley wine. I don't know, to be honest. Let's get the aroma and try and piece all of this together. Oh, yes, 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 yes. To go with that deep red amber colour good levels of carbonation and a nice tight white one finger head you get this beautiful kind of complex malt aroma It always reminds me of like cherry blossom more. Look at a raspberry. It's definitely hoppy. It's definitely a hoppy beer, but it's that hoppy aroma is is mixed with the the red malts in the beer, and it's it's triggering more of a rose. Rose petals, a real tartness coming through, a jammy tartness, marmalade. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's good. It's really good. It's really dry. Really, really dries your palate. Spicy, peppery. A nice amount of bitterness. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Releases more of that flavour. 
it's very marmalady, very marmalady, very kind of sweet and juicy and marmalady. And now I've now I've drank some of the beer. Let me bring it into focus. Look at the lacing on that glass. Look at that as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Look at the quality on that beer. I'm going to carry on with the fact that I'm doing a blind taste test and I'm, and I'm having to choose the style of beer. I would say this is a lager ale hybrid. If you handed this to me in a festival as, as a blind taste test, if I was judging, I would say that it, in terms of style, it it went along the lines of of barley wine, definitely barley wine. But but at the same time, I would say barley wine with 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 lager yeast. So this could be Bock if you were in Germany and not in the UK, because this is the fascinating thing about beer. In the UK, I reckon a lot of UK ale and beer drinkers would say that's probably a barley wine. If you took this to Germany, they would probably, and, and give them a blind taste test, they would probably say strong Bock beer. And that's what I think I'm leaning. That's what I think I'm leaning towards this. It's not quite a barley wine because it has laggy yeast. You can get that kind of estery kind of fruity flavour come through. And and you get it's a it's a clean it's a really clean taste that only lager yeast can really replicate, I suppose. It's strong bock. I'm going to say strong bock. And the, the, the wonderful thing is, and I like the fact that there's... Ah, here we are. It's actually in English. I didn't think it was any English on the back here. Right, here we go then. So I can actually um, tell... Mm, bit my lip. I can tell you what it is now. Bira Moretti, Granny and Tishi is a celebration of traditional brewing techniques... Our master brewers have gone to great lengths to combine the most exclusive grains with malted barley and hops to create an intense and enveloping bouquet on the nose whilst balanced on the palate. Right, they've called it a double malt beer. Double malt beer. That's, I mean, that's exactly what you'd expect it to be called in Italy. Double malt beer. UK, Germany, barley wine, Germany, Bock beer, strong Bock. Um, ingredients, um, water, malted barley, malted wheat, old varieties of malted wheat, 10% and hops. It's, an it's definitely an interesting brew. It's definitely an interesting brew and it's one to share. I'm going to share with this with Craft Beer Lady. I'm going to get her a small glass of this. I think she would like this. Uh, but I'm going to rate it. It's a, it's a really complex beer. It's a thoroughly enjoyable beer. Don't make the mistake though. My big tip of the day. Don't make the mistake of cooling this beer down too much. Don't take this beer down below 5 degrees. If you really want to enjoy the complex flavours that this beer has to offer... Enjoy it over five degrees. The moment you super chill a beer below four, three degrees, like some of these beer machines like to get their beers down to, you really are starting to lose a lot of the flavour in the beer because it just gets affected. Not permanently. If the beer warms back up a bit, you get a lot more flavour. Try it. 
get a freezing cold one of these if you want to and then get a get one at about six seven degrees it'll be a completely different tasting beer rating Bira Moretti Grani Antichi double malt beer I really like that it's a nine out of ten 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!